Yet O1 door installation. Hello. Today we will show you how to install YET gate. Some original design decisions were applied when working out the YET gate. We won't need a lot of tools to install it on this aperture. The complete set of gate leaf consists of sandwich panels assembled and manufactured. For gates with springs of a stretching compression, the complete set of the guide system consists of the following parts. An assembled angle post, which is a vertical guide, a lateral sealant, a bent and a stretching compression spring. A C profile, an assembled top crossbar, which is a crossbar, crossbar fastening to a bend and the top sealant. A horizontal guide, a box with a complete set which includes L-marked packaging, that will roll a cage for the left-hand side of the cloth. R-marked packaging, that will roll a cage for the right-hand side of the cloth. Metalware packaging. Now that we have the gate and tools, it's time to begin the installation. At first, it's necessary to check aperture parameters. The height and width of an aperture is measured in three points. The maximum value is considered in the optimum size. Hinge jams and head jams are measured in three points. The minimum value is considered in the optimum size. Now we assemble a mounting frame. When the aperture is prepared, it is necessary to assemble a plain framing of the gate to make the installation convenient. The top part of a plain framing is formed by means of a crossbar. The top crossbar is fixed on the band assembled in advance on the manufacturer and vertical guide with the help of bolted-on connection. The bottom part of a plane framing is formed with the C profile, which will pass to fixation of horizontal guides among themselves. The C profile is fixed on the band assembled in advance on manufacturer and a vertical guide with the help of a bolted-on connection. When the plane framing is assembled, it is installed on an aperture and preliminary fixed. Depending on an aperture material, we may need to drill holes for fixing the elements. Please note that it is not necessary to completely fix the fixing elements. It is essential that the plane framing can be adjusted to fit the aperture according to the setting out sizes. When the plane framing is fixed, we make a final fixing of an angle post a band and a crossbar by means of fixing the elements. Then the horizontal guides are installed. They are installed one after another in a band and fixed in it with the help of bolted-on connections. After the plane framing has been fixed, the C-profile is withdrawn from it. For this purpose, two bolted-on connections are screwed off and the C-profile is withdrawn. The C-profile is installed in the top part of the horizontal guide and fixed with the help of bolted-on connections. Now we fix the horizontal guides to the ceiling. The fixture angle is set in the punched holes of the horizontal guide. The angle is fixed to ceiling and adjusted with horizontal guides horizontally. If necessary, diagonals are checked. The maximum allowed deviation of diagonals is 5 mm. Now that the lateral guides and the top lintel are installed, we pass to the following stage. All roller cages are marked with the Latin letter L for the left-hand side of the cloth and Latin letter R for the right-hand side of the cloth. The bottom panel assembled on manufacture and installed in an aperture. The assembled roller cage with the roller is fixed on the bottom lateral buttress. Please pay attention, the roller cage marked with the Latin letter L is for the left-hand side of the bottom sandwich panel. The roller cage marked with the Latin letter R is for the right-hand side of the bottom sandwich panel. The assembled roller cage for the bottom sandwich panel is installed with the roller facing downwards. The assembled roller cage for the second and the subsequent middle sandwich panel is installed with the roller facing upwards. The roller cage with the roller marked with the Latin letter L is installed on the left-hand side. The roller cage marked with R is for the right-hand side. After the installation of the second and the subsequent sandwich panels, 
It is necessary to fasten the panels together with the help of self-tapping screws. A separate roller cage with a roller is for the top panel. This roller cage allows regulating the clamp of the sandwich panel to the top sealant. Also, a manual or automatic adjustment of a roller is made with the help of the top roller cage. The adjustment of the pressing of the gate leaf to an aperture is made after the installation of all roller cages. Adjustment is made by means of moving the roller cage in a lateral buttress and its fixing by means of a nut. The admissible gap between the gate leaf and the bridged part of the sealant is equal to 1 or 2 mm. It is necessary to raise the gate leaf upwards to install the spring mechanism, balancing the gate. The balancing adjustment of the gate leaf is made. For this purpose, after pressing the gate leaf, it's necessary to lift the gate in an open position and to fix it, preventing falling. As the balancing adjustment mechanism of the gate leaf is assembled together with the vertical rack, it is necessary to uncouple a pull rope with the transport screw. A thimble is fixed to a special fixture of the bottom lateral buttress pier by means of a water kit and a split pin. The standard complete set of gate includes the handle intended for convenient opening gates. Before handle installation, it is necessary to mark on the panel a place for its fixture. The handle is established on the bottom sandwich panel in a place convenient for the customer. Then the hole for the handle fixture is drilled. The handle is established and fixed by means of screws which come with the handle. For the installation of the protective casings, it is necessary to lift a board of the gate in an open position. The protective casings are used for gates with the stretching compression springs. The first closes the spring from ingress in an operative range of extraneous subjects. The second closes roller batteries from ingress of extraneous subjects in a zone of movement of rollers. For installation of casings, it is necessary to drill holes in casings on punching located on the vertical guides. Protective casings are fixed on vertical guides with the help of a bolted-on connection on all guide length. Adjustment of a spring tension is made with the help of a tightener installed on an angular rack. The tightener installation is made on the factory and delivered with an angular rack. After installing the spring in a tightener cell, the balancing adjustment is checked. If the gate leaf is balanced and the position of the gate leaf as related to the aperture testifies to it, the spring termination in the tightener is fixed with the help of the bolted-on connections. If it was not possible to balance a gate leaf in a tightener cell, it is necessary to rearrange the spring termination in the following tightener cell and to check up cloth balancing again. Then the spring termination is fixed. The gate leaf shouldn't fall or rise spontaneously. The installation of the yet gate with stretching springs is finished. These are warm, beautiful and safe gates.